tight formations like tight offset tight end, gun tight and tight doubles are taking over Madden 23. So it's time to throw a defense at your opponent that most people will have no idea on how to attack. And it is going to lead to a ton of throws into double coverage and to us making an insane amount of plays on the back end with our user. And we will be going the other way with the football. We are going to be using cover four quarters, which is part of the match coverage group of plays. But what is match coverage? It is a defense that has defenders playing zone, but they are reading receivers and they will either man up players and lock them down or they can become free to double team and bracket other players or certain players will be playing zone looking for work and helping on anyone who comes into their area. Now before we get into our tight defense I've been getting a ton of questions about abilities to use when playing match coverage. Now these abilities are going to help a ton no matter what version of match coverage you are playing and the first one I use is putting mid zone KO on our two safeties and it is going to make it so your players react faster and close on receivers much quicker but the biggest thing is when they meet receivers at the catch point, they will force so many incompletions. The amount of knockouts I get is absolutely insane. And I also don't know if everyone is aware of the area where this ability activates. It will work from the line of scrimmage to 20 yards deep inside the numbers. But it'll also work from 10 to 20 yards deep along the sideline. So you will be even forcing knockouts on corner routes attacking the outside, which gets super powerful and makes this one of the best abilities in the game. Next, I have one edge threat here and this is insanely helpful because in these match schemes we are running so many four-man rushes so the more pressure we can get and easy wins that we get along the d-line the less time we have to cover on the back end and this really can help take your match defense to the next level so if you can put at least one edge threat on one of your defensive ends that is ideal then lastly i have at least one inside stuff on your d tackles if you can we will always be playing two high safeties in this scheme so we need to be able to stop the run with our front seven so having easy wins where they blow up the run on the inside will really make playing these match coverage schemes that much more effective. Match coverage is going to do an amazing job as our base call to lock up these tight formations because every good player you face will have a game plan on how to attack man coverage or all the different zone variations, but most people have no idea the rules of match coverage or how to actually beat it. So once you learn the routes and plays they love to go to in these formations and the rules of the match coverage, you are going to make an insane amount of plays and really limit these offenses. Match coverage is also designed to get double teams on the deep route combos down the field. So this can do a great job of limiting explosives and getting multiple players at the football to cause knockouts. So sometimes it will be one-on-ones down the field and your players are just going to have to make the play. Now what we are going over today is a part of our match coverage game plan all inspired by the GOAT Nick Saban and his legendary run at Alabama where he has led the tide to become the greatest dynasty in college football history. Over the past seven to eight seasons, the Tide have evolved into a four down lineman base defense with a nickel back on the field that Saban refers to as his star position. Then the Tide run an insanely advanced match coverage scheme that Saban refers to as his cover seven coverages. This gives him so many checks and options to answer to whatever his opponent is trying to accomplish offensively. Now I'm going to leave a link down in the description for this whole Saban defensive scheme and you can check out all the other match coverage breakdowns that I have done for this defense. Now for the video today, we are going to be using cover four quarters in the formation big nickel over G. And before we even get on the field, go to your coaching adjustments. You want to turn your match coverage on and then usually I have auto alignment on base. Then go to big nickel over G and you want to go over to your packages and go to slot CB. This will allow you to put all the right defensive adjustments on the field. Now we're going to be breaking down quarters versus these tight looks, but for the most part, palms is going to play the same way. Now this applies to any formation where it is a balanced two by two set where it's compressed into the line. So first we're going to look at the strong side. So that will be where there's two receivers on the same side and then the running back is on that side of the quarterback. Now here we will have what we call a box check and it is honestly very simple. We have four defenders responsible for these three receivers. And first we want to look at the quarter flat and he is just going to take the first player shallow and to the flat. So it doesn't matter which one of these three it is. Whoever goes to the flat, he is going to go there with him. Next we have the cornerback to that side. He will have the first one deep and to the outside. So really he is going to be sitting on corner 
corner routes here and he can just do a great job of shutting them down as they break out towards him. Next we have the safety. Now he will play the first player vertical. So if either receiver runs a streak up the field, he will take them or the first player vertical inside. So if someone runs a crosser or a post, he is gonna take that player as well. Then lastly, we have the three receiver hook on this side and he will take the first player shallow. And so really he is looking for drags or slants over the middle. And if the running back leaves the backfield and runs to the opposite side of the field, then he will take him as well. Then if at the snap there is nothing shallow and in, he will just drop back in the hook and look for work over the middle of the field. Now we're going to look at the weak side and, and I've done a ton of Googling on how this weak side is supposed to work, but there's not a lot of answers and it can do some weird stuff. So we are going to get straight into the adjustment I do to make it just much simpler and more effective. So all you want to do is put the quarter flat on this side of the ball into a hard flat. Now if either of the receivers on this side go to the flat, he will just take them right away no matter what he is going to go right to the flat. Now when looking at the safety in the corner on this side, we are first going to look at the receivers and we are going to call the outside player out of these two players number one, then we are going to call the inside player number two. So the corner is going to read one and basically go with him everywhere he goes. If he goes right to the flat, he's going to take him right away. And if one goes on any vertical route, like a streak up the field or a corner route, he is going to lock him up and take him everywhere. The only time he will let him go is if one goes on a drag or super shallow across the field, then number one can look to number two and help if he's going vertical down the field. Then looking at the safety, he is going to look to number two. And if he goes vertical up the field, so seven plus yards, he will just take him no matter where he goes on a post, a corner, crosser, anything like that. But if two stays shallow, so on a drag or goes right to the flat, then he's going to help the cornerback take number one. And if he goes vertical, then it's just going to become a double team on this player. So that is the adjustment I make on the weak side. Now we're going to go back over to the box check side. Now, most of the time, I will also manually put our quarter flat into a hard flat. Now he is responsible for the first to the flat anyway. So I would rather him just get out there right away. Then if it is a long down and distance, one other thing we can do is we can shade up and put curl flats on the field. This is actually going to make our flat defenders play further back. And it's just going to help on some of those deep corner routes and deeper plays down the field when it is third or fourth and long. Now, if you want to unlock even more for this save in defense, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Up today, I have a video where I show you another coverage out of this cover four look that can be a great change up versus these tight formations. And in that video, I show you how we can use cover four palms to lock up trips tight end and make a ton of plays against one of the biggest meta formations in the game. And then other videos on the site, I show you how we can use match coverage to lock up gun bunch, empty sets, and I form looks. Then I also have my ultimate mobile QB offense on the site where I can help you use quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick and create one of the most explosive dynamic offenses in Madden 23. Now, if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. Now, as for who I want to use are, I will always play on the wide side safety. So that means you have to key which side the running back is on and you have to adjust your responsibilities off of that. The reason I want to play here is because most people really try to attack the wide side of the field with deep corner routes and take advantage of the CPU. So we can actually sit on these corner routes and wipe them out where they don't even try to throw them. Or if they do, we can jump them and make a ton of plays on the football. And then also if everyone breaks down and we don't have to match anyone down the field. Now we can be free to help on anything we see getting open and really just help if we see any breakdowns and make a play on the ball. Now as the user, we are in a super crucial spot and if we aren't careful, we can give up some big plays. If you are late reacting to deep corner routes down the field, you can be a step behind and you can give up a huge explosive play. Then if you do get caught flat footed trying to play stuff underneath, then once again, the player you're responsible can get vertical in behind you for a big play down the field. Then the way we set this defense up really puts our outside corners in a great position to jump a ton of these outside breaking corner routes. And this is really the backbone go-to routes in these tight formations. They want to attack the sideline. So the more plays you can make on these balls, the more frustrated on offense they will be, and they will have to switch it up and get out of these tight looks. Then once we lock everything down on the deep end, and then we do have a really solid underneath coverage that plays very well. We will have this three receiver hook 
cool track crossers from one side of the field all the way to the other and can step in front and make a play on the ball. And if everyone's getting vertical, he can ride these routes deep, undercut these routes and make plays on the ball once again. Then your flat defenders do a great job of getting right out to these quick outs along the sideline and anything else right to the flat. But they also do a great job of wiping out drags or anything shallow coming from the opposite side of the field. Then one thing that will help make playing this defense so much easier is switching it up and starting to run blitzes at them also. This will force them to start blocking running backs and get the ball out so much faster or we will rack up a ton of sacks. So making them unsure if you are playing coverage or blitzing is going to help your defense so much. So if you want to learn a perfect blitzing scheme out of Big Nickel over G that is going to pair absolutely amazingly with the match coverage you learned today, you need to check out this video right here.